Okay, I'm sitting in here with Stephanie because, uh, well, we don't have the time, and I don't know how to do this whole putting things together and making a Pinterest video. So she's going to help me. I'm going to turn this thing around and show the Pinterest, and she's going to read them to you. And what these are for, guys, is to show you that you can go on these sites uh, when you're trying to tweak to happier and happier in whatever arena that you have an issue with, and you can find a story that will verify that you are on timelines that the world is changing. So instead of listening to the news, which we all agree will just keep you in a bad place, what you've got to do is you've got to go find your own news to stimulate your consciousness to take yourself to a higher vibratory place. And if you don't go looking for them, you'll just keep repeating the same stuff. Uh, over and over. But if you go find them and you consciously say, no, I want the world to be more peaceful, more gentle, more good people, then what you, after that, you go find these things and that verifies to yourself that as a creator God, you have gone to a different timeline where you're improving and it'll lead you to improve more and more and more towards fifth dimension, peaceful planet, love and light. Okay. All right. So here we go, Stephanie, look and see if this is lined up. Right. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, this one first. This one is, Mom kicks her son out of the house for being gay, but then badass grandpa responds with this letter. Dear Christine, I'm disappointed in you as a daughter. You, I don't know. Uh, you are correct that we have a shame in the family, but mistaken about what it is. Kicking Chad out of your home simply because he told you he was gay is the real abomination here. A parent disowning his, her child is what goes against nature. The only intelligent thing I heard you saying in all of this was that you didn't raise your son to be gay. Of course you didn't. He was born this way and didn't chase it, choose it any more than he can choose being left-handed. You, however, have made a choice of being a hurtful, narrow-minded, and backward. So while we are in the business of disowning our children, I think I'll take this moment to say goodbye to you. I now have a fabulous, as the gays put it, grandson to raise, and I don't have time for a heartless B-word of a daughter. If you find your heart, give us a call, Dad. Then we have, I have to scroll down. Scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Okay, so you're still on. Okay. So this middle one here. An 11-year-old boy who lost his leg to bone cancer participated at a triathlon for kids. During the run, his prosthetic broke. So the Marines went to the boy's aid and carried him through to the finish line. And then there are several pictures of them carrying him. And then this one right here, this girl, she was, um, let's see, I was about to get on the bus when a man approached me. Not going to lie, I was scared. Then he said, excuse me, I couldn't help but notice the scars on your arms. Whatever it is that you are going through, don't suffer it alone. I don't know if it hurts to see, uh, I don't know you, but it hurts to see you like that. Before adding, he said, Hey, take these. They were for my wife, but I think you need them more. This just goes to show how little effort it can take to make someone's day and to make them feel better about themselves. I didn't know this man, but thank you. Then, ah. Oh, yeah, the tutu guy. And then this one right here also. This guy traveled the country in a pink tutu just to make his wife laugh during chemo. So let's go ahead and get a little closer because he's a little dark. And then, so, several pictures. Oh, the, the biker on the other side, too. Mm -hmm. But we got to go down to show them. Whee! Flying! But yeah, so, super awesome. Now back up. And is this... Con I, you're going to have to back it up. Okay. okay. So, this one's faster right here. So, this one first. That is a male employee. And uh, he noticed the man with the crutches, an older man. And uh, it's pouring raining outside. So he went and grabbed one of the umbrellas from the tables and ran out to protect uh, the old man and help him get to his car. So that one's awesome. And then this one here, as you can see, the biker. 
to the family in the red SUV at Tim Hortons today. Yes, I'm a big 280 pound guy with motorcycles and full of tattoos. I am a welder, I am loud, I drink beer, I swear, and I look like I would eat your soul if you stare at me wrong. What you don't know is that I have been happily married for 11 years, my kids call me daddy, I am a college graduate, my mother is proud of me and tells everyone how lucky she is to have such a wonderful son, my nieces and nephews are always happy to see their mononcle, Luke, when my daughter broke her arm I cried more than she did, I read books, I help people, I go out of my way to thank war veterans, and I even cried at Armageddon. So next time I smile and say hi to your little girl, and you grab her and tell her, no, no, dear, we don't talk to dirty bikers. Remember that even though you hurt my feelings, this dirty biker would be the first person to run into your burning house to save your little girl's goldfish so she wouldn't be sad. <laughs> and then this one here is bride's dad stops the wedding to invite her stepfather to walk down the aisle with them so there they are there's grabbing a oh yeah i hadn't showed you that one <laughs> and then this man meet mason wartman uh mason left his job on wall street and started up his own pizza business in philly mason sells a slice of pizza for one dollar in his restaurant his customers started paying it forward by paying for a slice for a slice of pizza for the next person. Mason places the for the pay it forward post-it on the wall. All of those post-its back there. So whenever someone hungry comes in, they can just grab a post-it off the wall to pay for their meal. Mason's restaurant feeds around 40 homeless people every day. And then we have this one here. All right, this one right here. Kid tell, tells uh, Mall Santa's uh, secret <laughs> in Wisconsin Mall. Santa decided to hand, handle one of the naughty list members early this year when a young girl told him her Christmas wish was for her stepdad to stop molesting her. He and four of his elves attacked the guy who was waiting nearby and pummeled him unconscious. An eyewitness recalled Santa didn't, eat, didn't say nothing. He just grabbed the back of the guy's skull and headbutted him real hard. The eyewitness continued to say that Kringle got on top of him and just started pummeling him. He was laughing and screaming, ho, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> so this blurred out towards the right of it is the stepdad who totally deserved it. And he actually was um, arrested and tried uh, for molesting his whoop, whoop. stepdaughter. One of my favorite ones is coming up. Do the biker, right, biker so game. This one I am going to have to open, but I can start it. So this one, biker gang protects child abuse victims so they feel safe. When they meet a new child, they scrolling. They get them little tiny kid versions of the biker vests, so they're a part of the gang. And these are all children of uh, home abuse, family abuse, even school, like so they're uh, abuse victims. And the bikers uh, will stay at their house uh, and guard the house all night, any night uh, that the child just feels... <clears throat> Shush feels scared, worried, has a nightmare, whatever, they will go to the house and stand watch. They will take the child to school if they're scared of doing that, as well as bring them back home. Uh, and whenever a child goes to testify in court, they will fill up the first two rows of the, of the courtroom, and one will stand on either side of the door leading into the courtroom, and they will walk the child up to the uh, stand and walk them back down. Uh, they are all trained by a therapist so they can help the children as best they can. And um, anyone who wants to join this, they do get a criminal background check. But of course, these are real bikers, so some of them do have criminal records. But as long as it's not 
domestic violence or um, anything to do with hurting another person, especially children, uh, if that comes up, then they're not allowed in. So they make sure that they're safe, but they are real bikers. So, And the kid, the little uh, boy. And then... Uh, So here's some more pictures. And basically, so this one little boy, he went um, to the courtroom and they did the front rows. They walked him up there. Uh, he was small enough that he couldn't, his feet didn't even touch the ground. And uh, whenever he sat in the chair and the judge asked the little boy if he was scared, the little boy said, nope. And the judge looked at him surprised and said, what? Why? And so the little boy looked at him and said, my friends are scarier than he is. The Yay. man who was, you know, being tried. So, I think that's it. Yeah, it, it was an eight-year-old boy. So, close that one. <whistles> Too far. And a policeman with a little kid. I like that. Oh, and that one's good. This one's good. Now, tell me if I got this right, this picture. Keep going. All right, right there. See the, the punk kid letting the little kid touch his spikes on his, on on his, his jacket. jacket. And that was at a gay pride and uh, then rally. Over here with the... And then this the, one's a fast one. These soldiers make a bridge because the road flooded, so people could cross and get to safety. That and, one was the, good. and then... Let's see if we can't get it close enough for them to read it. <clears throat> so if you can't read the sign, it says, uh, these guys are holding up, you're hella gay, I'm hella straight, but you're like my brother, so be my date. Um, <clears throat> and then it says underneath it, guess who just got asked to prom by a straight guy? <laughs> Army Pants, the man farthest over. He's my best friend and a real man, given the fact he has the guts to fulfill my gay student council dream of always helping out planning dances, but never getting asked. I couldn't ask for a better person in my life. Thank you, Jacob. Can't wait for prom. So they're best friends, one straight, one's gay. And so even though that they're going to prom together as dates, because that is just awesome. Which women have been doing that stuff forever. Forever. We're and always then, getting like some friend to to go this to a right dance here with us. Is a picture of the tip and the receipt, and it says your ticket to Italy. Enjoy. And he gave them. Uh, he gave this waitress a thousand dollars for a ticket to Italy because she is full Italian, stuck in a small town due to marriage and divorce, and she's been stuck as a waitress for fifteen years, never been, but she always wanted to go to get in touch with her roots. And this guy that they'd never seen before. She was talking about the story. He um, overheard it and then talked to her a little bit about it. Uh, whenever he handed the check, she didn't even look at it. And uh, he walked out as if, no, no big deal. All he said was, have a good one. Then they looked at the ticket, saw the $1,000, and uh, they still don't know who it is, who did it. So she got to go to Italy. So, really nice one for a dude. <coughs> And then this one in the middle, he's playing a violin at a subway. This little kid was uh, crying nonstop and only stopped whenever he started playing. So he spent the entire train, uh, train ride uh, playing the violin to keep the little girl happy. So a lesser thing, but still awesome. Yes, very cool thing. Top picture, fireman saving a little baby out of a burn uh, fire. And then down below, that's this little girl grown up at her high school graduation. Right. And they invited him to go. So basically, they stayed in touch. He got to see the little baby he rescued graduate. And, ah, and then this one right here. The pending coffee. Roughly translated. So we were in a small coffee shop. Two customers arrived. Five coffees for two, uh, two for us, three pending. They pay for the five, they only get two. What's a pending coffee, I asked. Wait and see. More customers. Two girls get the uh, get their coffees, they pay normally. After a while, three lawyers asked for seven coffees. They only drank three, 
but paid for the seven. While we were t- wh- bleh, while we were talking, a poor man enters the shop with a soft voice. He asks, "Do you have any pending coffee?" This type of charity was born in Napoli, Italy. People pay in anticipation for the coffees and even meals that others can't afford. And then there's a picture. Now, would that be that hard? Everybody could do that. Yeah. And wouldn't have to worry about the government taking care of anything. You could do it with anything. You've got an extra room in your house. You could have that for that. Extra house on your property. Extra apartment. You could do it with anything, really. Today, my 14-year-old son and I held a yard sale. He was reluctant and stayed in his, on his phone most of the time. Then, a mother and a little girl came up, clearly financially troubled, and the mother told me her daughter was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer three days ago. Her daughter asked my son how much a stuffed bear was. My son looked right at her and said, Give me the biggest smile you got. The little girl gave that smile her all, He then handed her the bear and said, that smile's worth a million dollars, kiddo. I've never been so proud. Aww. Oh, oh, yeah. This one. Yeah, see this one. This one's amazing. So, that little baby was born. She had one eye that was completely um, blind. The other one was um, so damaged that she, it was basically blind. Um... So the parents of that little kid in Malaysia in Malaysia sacrificed one eye each so that their 17 month old oh it's a boy son can see. So that little boy has one eye from each parent. The epitome or the the actuality of going you have your parents eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and so he can now see and they happily uh each gave up one eye. Is this still taping? Yes. I don't know how much time we've got. I Let's think just we're do almost. Oh, we've got out of the main uh, ones. University gave honorary master's degree to a service dog, complete with little outfit, because he sat through every one of his owner's classes. Awesome. <laughs> what about that? Oh, do the Wonder Woman Spider Man because that. Ah, uh, yes. This her. one here. And Flash. This kid lost his dad in the crowd and started crying until he saw the Flash and Wonder Woman. He asked them for help because he knows them. (laughs) That's great. (laughs) And then this one here, um, it broke this kid's heart uh, when girls at a school didn't get a Valentine's Day gift because he wanted all of them to feel joy. So he started working several jobs, saved his money for a year and a half, and bought a flower for each of the 834 girls at his school. That one's more for me. Oh. This one here. Saw a dog in the street. Blood was falling from his mouth. I sent him to the vet. I used my prom clothes money to pay the bills. Won't be going to prom... But I have a new friend. Oh, <laughs> Reminds me of Inca. Uh, and then this one just says, I know a good dad when I see one. It is pouring wet. The guy is just soaked, but the little boy is dry and happy. And then this one here. Never judge a book by its cover. At an event in blistering heat, this Marine had to stand at salute the entire time. To cool him down, this group of bikers gave gave him cold water and fanned him. <laughs> and then a cop <laughs> with getting shot at by a kid Superman. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh, this one right here, little boy being held. On this day last year, this little kid drowned. He was without a heartbeat for almost an hour. Today, he got to meet the first responders who saved his life. <laughs> <You're the dog. laughs> a military dog protects a soldier as she sleeps in the airport. <laughs> That's awesome. And then uh, this one here. This one's good for the college football players who are getting a lot of bad news. Um, two... 
Mm-hmm. NC State football players sat with a student who was eating alone during lunch. Just sat down break and those, started chatting. Break those clicks. Break those clicks. Oh, this one here. <laughs> a barber goes the extra mile to conquer an autistic boy's fear of haircuts. The boy is playing on the ground and he is kind of just around <laughs> trying to cut with the kid playing. <laughs> Where's that autistic? The birthday. I'm trying to find it. Oh, it should okay, be yeah. in this one. But see, guys, what I'm talking all about. All of these are good stories. All of these are good stories. You can just go find and just, if you're oh. having a bad day. Pouring rain into strangers. They're uh, actually keeping the water off this dog who is tied and left out in the rain in a pole in the city. This is the stuff that, you, if you want to tweak back to 5D, these are the kind of things that will help you whenever you see something bad. Oh, dude, that, that one, the picture of the white guy. This one? That's hilarious. Okay, th- that one is great. And the grandma one. This one here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mom was worried about my trip to Detroit, so I sent her this picture. Dudes feigned running in terror. <laughs> but you, now, see, that means there was a conversation between that white guy and all those white guys <laughs> going, hey, look, chase me like you're getting ready to kill me. How fun is that? Now, that's the way you play. And this is another This one. old woman. I don't know if you can see it. Is has a marionette of herself feeding peanuts to a squirrel, so she is the epitome of playing. There. Okay, and now the guy with his grandma, and then this one here. My eighty-four-year-old grandmother apologized for having to wear her nightgown in front of us. I said it was no problem, and it actually looked very comfortable. So she immediately offered one to me. It's not like I could have rejected this generous gift. Big grin. <laughs> Big grin. Ah, yes. And then this one here. Then you see the little girl down there, hopefully. Uh, the niece was embarrassed to wear her princess costume to the movies. The uncle didn't like that. <laughs> so he dressed up with her. <laughs> uh, anyway, there's lots and lots of these kind of stories so it's not that the good world and the good guys and the good people the good bikers the good police the good everybody isn't out there it's just that they have not gotten the the pr because that our pr goes after bad news so if you really are serious about this you have to go find them and they're there and the more that you see them and the more you focus on them the more you believe in them and the more you want them then the more of them there will be. And you will choose the timelines where it becomes more and more the norm. And that's how we get out of the old ways and into the new ways. And I can't do it for you. I can only create my own. But I want you to come with me and agree with me on the improvements. So that's the reason why I talk to you guys a lot like this. So that you can agree with what I am creating and how you create it. That's the reason why I do what I'm doing. So, yeah, this one's pretty long. It gives you kind of an idea. Eventually, I will have it set up. Hopefully, after this trip, somebody can teach me how. And I'll have an Instagram or something that you guys can sign in. I will put these up ever so often during the day to kind of let you stay on point. Uh, Ultimately, it is your choice whether or not to look at the bad things or whether or not to look at the good things. So, even if you see a bad thing, and that's fine. That's There are bad things out there, too. The trick is to go, yeah, but this is a game. It's on purpose. Everybody agrees. Now, what I want to do is I want to feel better. I want to feel good. So I'm going to choose to find one that makes me smile, that I want it to look more like this, not like this. So you allow the games. You don't get emotionally upset or drawn into it. It is what it is. The video yesterday explained why uh, the masculine energies were so destructive it was agreed upon it's nothing for anybody to be upset about but let's be truthful a lot of us have to deal with those physical emotional um triggers so that's how you do it you go oh okay i got it i agree to this this is where we at on the game but now i'm coming out i choose not to see that i you can play the game you want 
but I'm looking for people who are playing a different game to move into better, higher frequency, better timelines. Okay, guys. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate it. And I know you've got to go to work now and on your car. So, so I can't. That's here. Oops. Oh. Drop the phone. Say hi, Stephanie. Whoa. Hello. Okay. Thank you for your time. I dropped the phone again. All <laughs> right. That's it for me. Um, love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Big, 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 big hugs. Bye now.